Hey guys, today I'll be walking you through how to use a booty builder machine along with correct form and mistakes to avoid. The booty builder machine is simply just a machine that you can do a hip thrust on. If you don't have a booty builder machine at your gym, I'll also link my how to hip thrust video down below for you to reference. Let's get started. Here we have the booty builder machine in all of its glory. Underneath the platform for your feet, you'll find instructions on how to use the machine and recommendations for the machine settings that you can always refer to. The first thing we'll go over is how to adjust the machine so that it is optimally set up for your height and body. There are two different points of adjustment. The first is on the left side of the seat which is adjusted by pulling the orange circle up. Once you pull it up, you can slide the seat forward or backwards, and to set the seat in place, release the bar back into one of the holes. The shorter your legs are, the farther forward you'll want to place the seat, and the longer your legs are, the farther back you'll want to place the seat. The second point of adjustment is the height of the seat. Underneath the seat, you'll find an orange lever. Pull the lever up to move the seat up and down. When it is at your desired height, release the lever to lock it into place. I also like to shift the seat up and down a little bit to make sure that the seat is all the way locked in place. The shorter you are, the higher up you'll want the seat, and the taller you are, the lower you'll want the seat. Play around with the adjustments until you find what works for you. After adjusting the machine, add plates on the side if you wish, but be aware the machine itself with no added weight is pretty moderate of a resistance already. Have a seat, put the belt on and buckle it in. I'm hoping you know how to do this yourself already. Place your feet on the platform and you're ready to start hip thrusting. For me, placing my hands behind my head is most comfortable, but do whatever works for you. And of course, let's talk about form. Form will be the same as when you're doing a regular hip thrust. The bottom of the back rest should hit your middle back about right under your shoulder blades. Feet are about shoulder width apart, your knees should come to a 90 degree angle at the top of the hip thrust, chin stays tucked into your chest, and face looking straight ahead at all times. Some people may be able to look straight up at the ceiling while maintaining optimal form and that's fine too. Feet stay flat on the platform at all times. When you're at the bottom of the hip thrust, you want to squeeze your glutes which will automatically push your hips up and continue to squeeze your glutes until you can't anymore. Then lower your hips back down and repeat that same motion. Remember that your glutes are the driving force of this exercise. Let's go over a few common mistakes to avoid. Before you start to laugh and point, make sure that you're not the one making these mistakes. Here, my feet come too far behind my knees, making it so that I feel the movement in my quads instead of my glutes. I'm also using my entire body to propel my hips up instead of just my glutes, making the movement erratic and out of control. Now, you'll notice my feet are up too far in front of my knees, making the movement hamstring focused instead of glute focused. Instead of using my glutes to feel the motion, I'm excessively arching my back and hyperextending it. Here, my face is looking up at the ceiling, making my spine not neutral and compromising the rest of my form. All these things can lead to injury, which is why you want to make sure to use good form at all times. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video with me. For more workout and fitness tips, make sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys all again next week.